Maya? Are you there? I wonder if she's not here after all. She's not replying to my line. She's not answering her cell phone. I wonder what's going on. Oh, Maya! You're here! What's wrong? I haven't heard from you at all. What's wrong? Your face looks a little tired, doesn't it? A little. What's wrong? Is something wrong? Then talk to me. Actually... <coughs> mm? Baby crying? Oh, um, wait a minute. Ah, oh, Maya. Maya? What? When did you become a mother? No, I I'm taking care of my sister's child. So that's how it is. But you're exhausted. You don't even seem to be at university. I have to take care of him every day. Then you have to tell your sister clearly. Call her now. I know, right? Sis, as expected, it's hard for me to take care of him every day. What? I've never left my son with Maya. What? Because you always leave your son with me. My son is right in front of me right now. What? My name is Maya. I am a 20-year-old college student. My sister is 25 years old and married. She is also the president of a company. And recently, she has been busy with her work, so I decided to take care of my nephew. I'm having quite a problem because I can't sleep at night and I can go to college as I have to take care of him every day. Brittany, a classmate of mine, came to see how I was doing and after discussing it with her, I told her that it was hard for me to see her sister and she gave me an impossible answer. What are you talking about? I'm holding Hikaru in my arms right now. What? That can be true. I'm holding Hikaru in my arms right now, too. What? I'll call you back when I've sorted out the situation. What's wrong? It seems like my sister is with her son now. What? What do you mean? I don't know. Because you got it directly from your sister, didn't you? No, actually, my sister's helper came and brought him to me because she wanted me to take care of my nephew since my sister was having a hard time at work. What? So you weren't directly asked to do this? No. Why didn't you confirm that with your sister? Because the nanny told me to keep it a secret because it would be a burden on my sister. Mm, that's pretty suspicious. I'll look into it myself. Brittany moved and investigated, and as a result, I found out a startling fact. Maja, I looked into it. Thanks, so how did it go? As it turns out, the baby I saw the other day was not Maja's nephew. Then who? I also thought it was suspicious when I heard the story, so I looked into this nanny. I'm sure she's my sister's nanny. She was once introduced to me by my sister. It certainly seems to be true about that. I don't think she was married and didn't have any children. That's true. So she wasn't the nanny after all? No, 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 no. You trust people too much. What? The person behind this is the nanny, Lola. What? Because you said she doesn't even have a child right now. Actually... Brittany told me what she had found out. Hearing that, I started to think it was impossible and absolutely unforgivable. That's not possible. What should I do? When is that nanny coming next? She comes every day at a certain time, so I guess she'll be here soon. I'll be there. Thank you. While we were talking like that, the nanny came to our house with the child as usual. Hello. Hey. 
Who's this? This is my friend Brittany. Hello. I see. Then please take care of this for me. This child is not my sister's, is it? That's not true. <laughs> What are you talking about? It's already been looked into, you know. What? This boy is not Maya's nephew. What? What is it? Out of the blue. I'm a friend of Maya's. Can you please not talk to me about my family? No, no, no. You're not family either, are you? I'm Maya San's sister, Erika San's helper, right, Maya San? That's true. That's why I speak for Erika San. We are like family. What's with that forced logic? In any case, could you please not interfere in family matters? Which part of this is about family? Since your sister is busy, it is only natural for Maja-san to take care of your nephew, Hiraku-san. We are family. That's the problem, isn't it? What? If you say she's taking care of her nephew, I can't interfere either, but with a complete stranger's child. So what is it? I met Maja's sister, Erika-san the other day. That, that can't be true. How can you say that? Because Erika-san is extremely busy right now. There's no way you can meet. I'm sure she said she's busy. That's why I only called her for a few minutes. Then you haven't seen her, half you? We didn't meet. We just talked on the phone. And I talked to Maja. What are you? What do you want with such a lie? I wanted to see your reaction to my lie. You were pretty upset after all. What nonsense! Brittany made a play to find out how the other party would react. She said she met my sister. I could clearly see Lola's impatience the moment she heard that. And her relief when I told her that it was a lie This convinced me that what Brittany had said was true. Then Brittany folded in further. In any case, I don't think it's necessary for Maja to take care of someone else's child. That's why I've been telling you from a while ago, right? This child is Erika-san's child, Hikaru-kun. Are you sure? Yes. Then your injuries are healed. Injury? Erika-san said Hikaru-kun was injured, so I thought there was no way she would leave him with you. Oh, I see. It's fine now. It looks like it was pretty bad, doesn't it? But he's fine. Children heal quickly. By the way, where did he get hurt? What? Oh, Is it the place where this arm is red? It was a tough time, but thanks to you, it's healed. No, Brittany, it's not his arm. What? Oh, uh, he hurt his arm too, but that one wasn't too bad. This way. His leg is a little blackened. Yes, that's right. The leg was bad, so it was slow to heal, but it's all better now. Hmm, is it red around his neck? I'm glad his neck is better. Brittany, no, it's not. The black stuff on his leg is dust and around his neck is heat rush. What? Then where did he get hurt? Uh, different uh, spots. Different spots? Isn't it strange to leave him with Maja every day when he's injured in so many ways? Even though I said he was injured, he's fine now. What's that? Brini, that's enough. Lola, I told you before, I know everything. So what? Hikaru is not injured. What? 
You lied again! I'm sorry I lied, but you didn't notice that either, did you? There's no way I would have noticed that. Isn't that strange? How could you, who takes care of the light from your sister every day, not know about it? Well, that... The other day when I was taking care of him, I called my sister. What? W why? I told you not to call her that much. I didn't call her at first like Lola San said, but I was at my limit in so many ways. Oh my god. Then she told me that Hikaru was right in front of her. That must have been some kind of misunderstanding. I'm sure. I heard the baby crying on the other end of the phone. No, Erika has been seeing other children lately, so maybe that's it. How is it possible to leave your own child with your sister and watch other people's children? I thought it was strange, so I asked Brittany here to look into it. What? Your baby's sitting on the side, right? What? So you let me take care of the children you took care of there. Ugh. You heard from my sister that I am a good-natured person, didn't you? And you used that to your advantage. No! And you had me take care of your children and receive money from your customers, is that right? No! That's impossible! No! This mother entrusted you with her precious child, didn't she? It can't be helped. I'm struggling to make a living too. I can't eat from my job as a nanny. Is that why you took a second job? Yes, that's right. Originally, your sister shouldn't have given me a decent amount of salary. My sister tells me that you're raising your salary above the national average, right? Well, that's... They don't pay me enough for the amount of work I do. I didn't hear a definite amount, but I think it's at least enough to get by. It depends on the person. I see. This certainly isn't enough. I confronted the spot with a picture of Lola, which she prepared from a photograph. Oh, uh, this is... It's a picture of you. This is you doing karaoke with your friends. The time is around 2 p.m. Well, this is... Isn't this an old picture? The date is in the back of the photo. But this was taken three days ago. What? By the way, I was taking care of this girl that day, right? Uh... And next, there's this picture. It's the scene where you are getting money from a young woman while holding this child. This is an acquaintance. Are they friends or something? Oh, it's none of your business. Well, by the way, I've already done some research on this woman. What? This woman is the mother of this child, right? She handed over the baby to this woman after this, right? No way! And finally, here's a copy of the contract. Oh! You have a contract with this mother for babysitting, right? By the way, this child's name is Ayatokun. Nah, nah. How do you know so much? Yes, I do. This young woman happens to be an acquaintance of my sister's. What? I found out as I looked into it, and after consulting with my sister, I got the permission and borrowed the contract. No, right. Lola, now it's clear, isn't it? I know that you have been playing around with the children you babysat, 
while you left them in my care. No. And the only thing you have in your pocket is money. This is... well... In any case, you're finished. Huh? Oh, wait a minute! Please don't tell your sister about this. What? Did you hear what I said? What? My sister and this woman are acquaintances. That's why I have a copy of the contract here. What then could it be? Both of them are aware of this. No way! My sister was angry. What? You cheated on her. You put the baby in danger. You caused her, my sister, a great deal of trouble and played around her. <sighs> She said she would never forgive you. Oh no, how can I get her to forgive me? I don't know. I don't think she'll ever forgive you. It's still okay. If I give a reason and apologize, we can work something out. Are you still talking like such a flower garden? I'll go apologize, so give me back the baby. We'll keep the baby here. I'm the one who took the baby. Give him back, quickly. You are the one who took care of him, but you're also the one who left him here. Aren't you? Uh. From now on, my sister and this child's parents will go to pick him up. So I will responsibly return him. No way. I have to be gone soon. Oh, here it comes. It's my sister, isn't it? Yes. Wait a minute. Please, help me. Enough. Oh... You're an adult, so please take responsibility for your actions. I'll be careful from now on. Please, I apologize. No, you can't do that. Moreover, what you're doing is criminal, so it will be up to the police to decide whether or not to forgive you. No way! You did that much. Please give up. No. Then I'll welcome my sister. Yes, please come in. Oh. After that, my sister and her acquaintance came in and confirmed the situation with Lola. Lola kept making excuses and showed no signs of remorse. So she was expelled from my sister's company. And the babysitter was also expelled for being untrustworthy and instantly became unemployed. The baby's mother didn't want to get involved anymore, so I didn't file a police report. But I did charge her for everything except the babysitting I had paid so far. When she couldn't pay, she said she would sue the police. Since she had no money at all, she managed to get a right job to pay back the money, but eventually she was fired from that job and now she is living on the street.